today's video, Understanding and Managing Stress Mindfully. I always think it's important to understand how we're actually wired. And then to always remember, you have the ability to rewire the brain using such skills as mindfulness. It actually helps you tap in, build mindful muscle to use the wiser parts of the brain to mindfully respond to life rather than react. When we experience an external threat or an internal worry and a concern, the part of the brain called the hypothalamus is activated, which initiates a series of nerve cells firing as well as releasing chemicals like cortisol and adrenaline into the, into the bloodstream. This combo of nerve cells activation and chemical release causes many changes in our body. Your breathing rate, your blood pressure, all increase. And energy is directed away from your digestive and immune system and move toward your muscles for that quick reflexive response or reaction. Mentally, the more wise, intelligent, and rational parts of your brain begin to shut down when they're in that fight flight. When you're in that fight flight mode, your brain scans the environment, perceives everything in its surroundings to be a threat to survive. Plain and simple, this is how we're wired. Think of it like um, I read this some, one in something that I was reading, like a thief that has entered your home and you now perceive every moment or every sound as a sign of danger. Even if the wind blows the curtains, now think in a different way. It's like once you've experienced that, that person, that, that, that thief coming into your home and, and it's after the fact, anything thereafter is almost like you're in this immediate response of taking in every noise. Now think of it in a different way. A harmless comment by a colleague is now seen as an attack. You overreact to feedback. Your thoughts become irrational. Your fear becomes a filter through which you see the world around you. Why? Because you are elevated and never come down out of that fight flight response. When we're stuck in that stress response, you can't think positively. Your thoughts are clouded. Your attentional resources are focused simply on negativity. Fear is the focus, not friendliness. And you're not able to be rational. You make short-term decisions and that have long-term consequences and choices can't be processed. So when we're in this fight flight, it's turned on and it's continuously turned on and it perceives everything from this a quick emergency response. It never comes out of it. And the reason why I bring this up is that our life has things that, that make this turn on, this, this immediate activation. We are stimulated by things on the TV. We are stimulated by things on the radio. We're stimulated also by energy around us. We feel it. If somebody cuts us off in traffic or we cut them off by accident and the next thing you know, they're flipping us a bird or you know they're, they're doing something out of anger. So as I mentioned, the stress response is hardwired in the brain and the body to protect you from physical dangers. But fortunately, the ability to reduce your stress is also hardwired. But both work unconsciously. They're both automatic, and it's so it's called the autonomic nervous system. But through mindfulness, you can learn to spot when your stress response is activated. You actually start to understand yourself. You're living in awareness of self and you're then better able to take action to reduce the stress. So there's two parts to this autonomic nervous system. There's the sympathetic nervous system, that's our stress response, fight or flight, and then the parasympathetic, which is what they call relaxation response, the 
Main focus here is to activate the rest and digestive function to bring your body back into harmonious balance when it's been triggered to stress response, right? So mindfulness can assist in helping you recognize when you're in sympathetic and then to activate with techniques, mindful tools and techniques to activate the parasympathetic. The key is self-awareness. Although mindfulness is not necessarily a relaxation technique, its long-term side effects create and activate the parasympathetic to come out of that fight flight. That's why they call it relaxation response. So with mindfulness, you're taking note of when you're stressed out and you can take action. It's your responsibility for your reaction to life. You want to get, you want to engage those rational parts of the brain. So how do I recommend you do it? There's lots of ways, but one that I think is very, very helpful. I'd like us to practice here. So take a moment now with me and just find that centered space. Connect to your breath, check in with your posture and get it upright so that the breath is able to flow with ease. Your back is comfortably straight, your shoulders are down, softened. And just let go of the idea of trying to relax and instead invite the best of your ability to be calm in the mind and in the body. Just bring an attitude of acceptance and greeting yourself right where you are. I often like to just put a smile on my face, encouraging to just drop in. And I imagine coming out of the sympathetic nervous system response into the parasympathetic. And I'm encouraging myself to do so with non-judgment, curiosity. Each moment is different. Each time I apply this is different moment. And I always take a minimum of three nice, deep belly breaths. In through the nose, poof out the belly, hold it. Exhale out through the nose. Feel the belly concave in. Sometimes I place my hands so I can feel the flow of my breath. Inhaling, poof the belly out. Hold it. Exhale everything out. And when you're ready, inhale again. And you can do it with the eyes closed, choosing a soft gaze. You're just tuning your awareness into the body. And just allow your breath to return to its normal flow. And each time the mind wanders, just notice it wandering. That's part of mindfulness. And bring your attention back to what you're feeling in the body the flow of the breath, in and out. And if a difficult emotion arises, I see you, I hear you, I honor you. And I love you just the way you are. You allow that emotion to be. But see if you can just be with that emotion, with curiosity and acceptance, and see if you can just lighten that emotion, help it to rise to just pure acceptance in the present moment. Embracing the feeling as you're breathing 
and anything that arises in your thoughts and your emotions and your bodily sensations, you're allowing all to pass through and you're trusting that by dropping in to this parasympathetic nervous response, this activating the relaxation response, that the body can bring itself into an equanimitous state of being, a balanced state of being in this present moment. All you're reaching for right now is to be neutral and accepting and a willingness to do so. And anything else is a bonus. If you're feeling really joy-filled or peace-filled, that's awesome. But right now, you're in a contracted emotion and I'm greeting you very stressed out. Just bring yourself as best you can to a neutral, accepting what is, and then trusting that the flow of breath and the observer of thoughts and the observer of your emotions and you're turning and you're accepting them all as they are, that you're able to build this sense of resilience and to be neutral and willing and accepting of what is. So that reason can come in and that if I just hold this, I can begin to even maybe appreciate something, maybe invite whatever is positive in my life or optimistic or hopeful. But right now, the most important thing is coming out of that stress response and inviting a sense of inner peace, just relaxation response. And then when you're ready and you, you feel yourself coming into that uh, coherent heart rhythm, may my mind be at ease and may I be at ease with my mind is a wonderful statement. May my mind be at ease and may I be at ease with my mind. Just see if you can embrace that, hold it, and set the intention that when you open the eyes, you're choosing to see from a lens a freshness, newness, allowing this moment to stand on its own. And then when you're ready, gently open those eyes and do your best to see just from a state of acceptance and neutrality. Till next time, I'm wishing you all the best, always here to support you. And if there's anything I can do to support your journey, please do reach out. Take care.